Well, good morning, guys. You know, we're gonna go off here to Euro Motorsports and everything. But if you guys see me looking from here to right here, it's because, you know, just got the new camera. I don't know if you guys can, you know, look at the quality and everything to show that I got a new camera, but just got a new camera for my birthday. And, you know, we're about to go test it up today. We're going to Euro Motorsports today. We got about a 20 minute drive, so. From there, we are gonna go. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pick up there. We'll start from there. But remember, you see my sub count right here? Right here, the sub count. Make sure you click that like button, click that subscribe button, and make sure that you guys subscribe. It really helps out. I'm almost to 100 subscribers. I wanna get to that before the end of September just so that you guys know i want you guys to support me fully and so i can keep cranking out these videos for you so all right catch you at euro motorsports boss to get another raise i got some back with ashes in the race euro motorsports that right there is where we're gonna be heading i mean this u-turn here coming up euro motorsports you guys already know what we're gonna be doing today. So, pick it back up when we go through those doors. So, guys, we just made it to Euro Motorsports. You see, right there on the door. But here, you know, we're gonna talk about some Ferraris. Oh, autofocus. Oh, these are. We're gonna go talk about some Ferraris. We got a V12 by Turbo Benz. We got a Ventador. We got a Bugatti Veyron. We have a McLaren 675. Of course, you gotta have Murcielago. Damn, what's up with this light? But yeah, got a Murcielago back there. Uh, they had a Yaris. Don't have the Yaris anymore, but don't even have the G Wagon anymore. But we we'll jump right into it. But you guys already know, we're gonna have to start with the Aventador. I mean, the Bugatti there, huh? I think I get a Aventador from, oh wait, there's one right next to it. We got a Bugatti there on here. It's probably, yes, yeah, a 16.4 liter Bugatti, um, I think it's quad turbo. Or it's bi turbo, I don't remember. I think it's quad, but this is the same one that everybody always gets black and red and dang, look at the roof Ooh. but see the look inside the engine man exposed and everything it is beautifully well machined but this right here i can't get really too close because you see type of all around but i'm gonna try to get as close to this inside as possible but you see and then right next to it I think this is a wrapped Lamborghini Aventador, but the inside is impeccable. She has the, um, the mustard seats inside. So you know, the mustard seats and everything, that's like a big part of Lamborghini's thing where it would be like the black on mustard or the black on neon green, black on yellow. But you know, I gotta give another shout out to my boy Tyreek, cause you know, He's been telling me about these AMGs, and these AMGs has been popping up a couple places. So like we popped up at um, Speed Art. Uh, there's actually AMG I curated, which I didn't get to film because he got it literally two days after. But right here we got this AMG, and then we have this AMG SL65 coupe drop top, just like that one. Damn. Look inside. Inside is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the rim. We got drilled slotted calipers and um rotors just so that you know if you're driving the car hard you can slow down. Doesn't have any brake fade like that or anything. But and then right here we got a Ferrari Portofino, another one, all white. 
got a ball on it. I think he just sold it. But Carbon ceramic brakes. Dang, I wish they could open it for us. But uh, Ferrari Portofino is one of the best Ferraris in terms of like everyday car dad type thing where he's driving to work but he still wants a um an expensive but yet reliable car even though none of these cars they're not reliable but more like everyday type job like picking the, picking the school, kids up from school all of that but whew, if you guys are glad to see what i'm looking at right now Strad man, if you're watching the video, there's a Mercy Lago sitting right here for you. Mercy. But this is the Mercy Lago where everything goes up. You got the fins that go up when you go above 60 miles per hour. You got the rear hood that just the rear hood lasher just goes up by itself. And then of course you got the Lambo doors. But just look at that beige interior Ooh, just ridiculous just look at it though just so nice and then you got the rest of them down there but you guys already know I love my Ferraris I love everything Ooh, special edition it's awesome. Ooh, I don't see why not. Hey, they're beautiful. Okay, fine stuff. But let's get back to the supercars. We have. Oh, dang, I didn't even see this. Race Edition Mercedes Benz AMG. And then we got this big boy brother right next to it. Bi Turbo V8. Look at the way that color just pops on the camera. Raced and produced by Euro Motorsports. Everything. Lime green grill. It is ridiculous. You know, on interior. Full gutted race cage. Everything. Carbon fiber wing trimmings. Just look at that. The weave. Bro. This place is spectacular. You can just look at the rims itself. Even though these aren't really generically racing rims. But just look at it though. Ooh. Ooh. I did not rock in Brembo's, man. Low profile racing tires they have around. But look at it. Bro. This is right here. This right here is a custom um AMG body kit for because I haven't seen this body kit on a on any of these like um the racing Mercedes or anything. But Jesus. Custom body kit. Still has the stock tail lights and all. But I don't know if this race at all or anything because it looks like it's been worked on. Actually, I take that statement back. It is a race. I mean, it has been raced because on the inside you can see like the wear and tear on everything. But even just look at the Ferrari. I mean, the Ferrari, the spoiler. The spoiler. Look at that carbon fiber weave. It matches this carbon fiber weave. Even got a name on the back. So slick. Look at that. Damn. Bro. This race AMG is ridiculous. But what really just stroke just struck me right now. I didn't even know was in here was this racing simulator. I don't know if you guys can catch it through the glass, but that's a full 
three axle all rotating racing sim. I don't know if you guys watch TJ Hunt, but TJ Hunt literally just got a racing sim and he's fixing it up just right now. But damn, this racing sim looks ridiculous. Immerses you into like the racing and everything. It even like jolts in that, that box over there that the steering wheel is connected to. That steering wheel or that box that the steering wheel is connect, connected to, they said that that's the best one for a racing sim or anything where it will literally jerk the steering wheel out of your hand if you take a crash or if you're going over the bumps or anything. But even though they've literally sold a lot of their cars since last time I came in here, but they still have a good amount of them but i really do love this aventador and the mercy Lago. but i didn't even touch base on this mclaren 675 lt this mclaren is ridiculous oh wrong 570 gt this is the gt okay dang i really wish i could cross this road but look at it This color is just ridiculous. Ooh, white on white wheels? Okay. But I don't know if you guys noticed. When a lot of people get white wheels, they make the wrong decision of getting white wheels with a white background. What you're supposed to do is get white wheels with a black background. So when they get very dirty, they're not really seen that much on the face of the rim. On the face of the rim gets way dirtier from brake dust, from oils on the road, anything of some sorts. But this, this McLaren is nice. It's a GT too, so you know what that means. Gran Turismo Sport. It's probably got upgraded um, carbon package inside. Probably has probably a race exhaust, probably some other stuff. Even though it got a race exhaust, it's probably, it's probably still tame and quiet, but I would really drive this over the 720S. I really would. It doesn't even have the, um, the upgraded dash that the 720 has where when you go on the race mode, it flips down. Otherwise from that, I really love it, but ooh. Mercy Lago has paddle shifters. I didn't even see that. I had a shifters on the Mercy, but I gotta have any any old Lamborghini like that, or younger than the Aventador. Well, it's not younger, older than the Aventador. Gotta have in a stick. A Mercy Lago stick shift costs more and is worth more at the end of the day than that Aventador when it first drives off the lot. Y'all can test me on that, cause everybody you see, they'll get, they'll wanna. They see a Mercy Lago to be like, oh, what is it? Stickers are automatic? They say automatic. Uh, I don't really want an automatic. I just I want a stick shift. Because you already know that the stick shift is really dying in today's society in terms of car culture and everything. Like the sport, the sport car world and the supercar world, nobody really wants a stick shift car because nobody really wants to learn stick, I should say. But. They just tripping. They don't know the, the history of the stick shift. You know, you got your big boy, Infinity. Which one is this? You got the QX80. And they got some choppers over here. I think these were made at American Chopper too. Dang. So we shall see if this will affect any other change or moving towards in that direction. Chopper looks sick. Oh, look at that. You got your little, your little town car that you be rolling on South Beach. Look. look at that. Yeah. They got a lot of. They have a lot of. What's it called again? They have a lot of play cars. And play cars, I mean. Cars that when you don't want to drive a supercar, you're just driving around like your like your land, all of that, where you're literally just big chilling. Like a lot of these cars that he has in here, besides all of these, are mostly like 
ranging from hundred thousand dollars or more this place like this whole place used to be jam packed full of cars like right here was a lamborghini Urus. over there was a ferrari i think i think it was like a ferrari gallardo i think but i know it was an orange but this place was jam packed what i want to say is that your remote your motorsports has way more cars than this like I'm not gonna stop till I get you guys a full vlog because this vlog may be short, but if it's maybe it's gonna be short, I'm gonna jam pack it full of content for you guys. What I also wanted to say too, since I got you guys here, obviously because you guys have been watching the video, but Orlando meet that vlog that I just posted probably on Monday or Tuesday. Whew. Orlando meet was so nice. The car culture in Orlando was spectacular. I was in the group chat on WhatsApp and everything. Shout out to Throttle Gods and everybody that was there. But car culture in Orlando is ridiculous. Car culture, car culture, and car community in Orlando was just spectacular. People like didn't hate on builds like they would in Broward County. They wouldn't hate on people's like other builds that they have. Like even the Mazda 3 was there, turboed, doing burnouts. And I don't see no Mazda 3s here at these car meets down here doing burnouts with a Mazda 3. Everybody be like, what you driving that Mazda 3 for, but that, that booty, bro? All that. No. Everybody respect each other up there. Everybody was doing pulls on the freeway, on the side roads, Honda, Honda S2000 that you guys saw the blue one with the, with the green underglow. There was a Mark III Supra. It was like, I don't know, like a cool gray. That was there too. But just watch the next vlog. The other vlog that was before this one, check that one out. Because that one was a banger. Dang, look at this guy's office. This guy's office is ridiculous. I don't know if I can, you know, but look. A glass office. Office is made out of pure glass. You're not doing no work, you get caught. But we're probably gonna try to go to another place today. But if you guys are still here, make sure you guys tag in the comments. I made it to the end of the video. If I don't see anybody in the comments tagged, that means you guys didn't watch the whole video. I see it. But I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, everything that you need to. What I, but we're gonna go over to the Porsche dealership, try to see if we can get some content. If we don't do that, we're in the Lamborghini of Broward or Bugatti of Broward County. We're gonna go there, probably go film some stuff. Ooh, look at this light. <laughs> but we're gonna go there and we're gonna create more content from there. But guys, we are about to come back today at three, get some exhaust clips, and you already know from there. But right now, I really don't know what we're gonna do. Try to go find some cars, let's go film. Try to go talk about them some more, but I just want you guys to know. I think I've already said this on the, on the channel, but I'm gonna say it again that on this channel it will not only just be dealership reviews you know check out your motorsport thumbnail but on this channel is going to be dealer reviews supercar reviews supercar exhaust clips it would definitely be me building my own cars in terms of I want a Hyundai Genesis 2.0T. I want a Mazda RX-8 and get it custom built from PPRE. I want to get all of that stuff. But I don't want you guys to know. I don't want you guys to think, oh, he just doing dealership reviews and all of that. No, we're not just doing dealership reviews. We're doing everything in this book for a car community. Car shows, uh, car meets, everything. What? We're going to try to find some more cars to go film. Come back here at 3 o'clock. So, I'm going to catch you 
At the next place you gonna go to. But guys, like I told you, I was gonna get the startup for you in the Lamborghini Aventador. But I started right now. Prime them pumps. Always gotta prime the pumps. Told you guys. Told you guys I was gonna get start up. Dang. Bro, that was so loud. <laughs> yeah, alright there guys. Told you the best. V12, everything. Wanna say something to the camera, Mr. Dan? Nah, that's <laughs> alright, man. Yeah. Set the smoke alarms off. Ah, uh, dang. Hey, it was worth it. Got to set the smoke alarms off. Got our last from that, guys. We had a good time today. Time to go to this video. So this video will be up right after the Orlando meet and vlog from there. But if you guys are having a good time, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, Share it with your mom, your dad, everybody. But thank you guys for tuning in. Say bye to all these nice, beautiful cars. And thank you for tuning in. Oh, hey guys, thank you for staying towards the end of the video. And I just wanted to, you know, stop this right here. So and telling you guys everything that's dealing with the giveaway and everything. So the giveaway will be for my goal of reaching 100 subscribers by the by the end of september and i'll be doing a draw out of those 100 or maybe even more if we do get to that more of subscribers and i also stopped the video here because it's already 24 to 25 minutes and i didn't want to prolong the video anymore because the video is getting kind of long lately and i know you guys have been saying it's 35 minutes it's all that so not shorter videos but more content heavy videos coming so the next video is gonna be a two-parter so it's this video and the next video i'm wearing the same clothes and both but that next video is gonna be good but here is a little snippet of next week's vlog so make sure you guys tune in and be ready As you enter into my thought shrine Notice graffiti in the art design My inner sanctum filled with pleasures of the modern times You shouldn't think